Hi everybody, meteorologist Andy Gregorio here with a little video update on our wintry weather that's moving across eastern New York State and western New England this Friday night into early Saturday morning. As I always like to do, let's start it off with the weather map and show you what's going on and why we're getting this uh, dose of some snow and sleet and even a little bit of freezing rain in a few spots and while we'll eventually wind up with mostly a light to locally moderate snowfall before it all comes to an end late tonight. A slow moving nearly stationary front from off the southern New England coast down into uh, the central Gulf of Mexico is one of the reasons why uh, we have this unsettled weather. Along this front we have these series of low pressure systems that are rippling from southwest to northeast along it and at the same time back to the west we have this big area of cold high pressure moving down across across the nation's midsection and the combination of the cold air moving in with these uh, moist low pressure systems coming up from the south and southwest uh, we will be looking at some precipitation for tonight. I want to add that these low pressure systems are not really very dynamic, very intense storm systems, if you will. So, so that's why we're not really going to be dealing with uh, quite a bit of uh, heavy snowfall. But nonetheless, we will be dealing with some accumulating snowfall as the night wears on. Uh, basically, let's uh, take a look. This is my uh, Facebook page here. Uh, if you ever want to follow me and get weather updates as well online, uh, please feel free to uh, check out my page. It's uh, meteorologist Andy Gregorio WTEN. Uh, I changed my little profile picture tonight to get into the spirit of our snowfall and uh, also the little ugly snowfall time with the big flakes uh, made an appearance as well tonight, made its uh, seasonal debut. Uh, basically, here's what we're looking at in terms of our uh, weather for tonight into early Saturday morning. I have a little movie uh, weather headlines that I, I put together, and uh, basically what we're looking at is rain or a wintry mix developing across the area this evening. We already have that. It will start to transition to snow as the night wears on. The changeover first over the hill towns. Most of the accumulating snow will fall between midnight and 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Let's try that one more time. Uh, and uh, by 7, 8 o'clock or so, most of that snowfall should be pretty much um, out of here. We're looking at snowfall amounts, the least up to the north. I'll have a snowfall map for you in a little bit. And uh, most of the uh, moderate snowfall that we do see around here, moderate being around six inches or so, uh, will occur across the hill towns, the uh, Catskills, and off to the east, the higher terrain, east of Albany, that is, the southern greens, uh, the northern Berkshires, as well as the Conic Mountains. And as I mentioned, pretty much by tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock, most of that snowfall will be out of here. And uh, by tomorrow afternoon, we're looking at partly cloudy skies and some uh, relatively dry weather. Uh, right now, uh, this is what I'm expecting in terms of snowfall across the viewing area. And uh, again, the highest snowfall will be up to the north and east of uh, Albany, uh, basically across the Taconics, the southern greens right along the spine, into the northern Berkshires. Looking at the newer data coming in tonight, it's starting to come in now. I may extend this max snow area down a little bit farther south as well into uh, northeastern Columbia County, where the Taconics are, and also into the central Berkshires, uh, perhaps closer to the Mass Pike. Likewise, uh, extreme western Schenectady County, the higher terrain around Princetown, back towards Dwaynesburg, uh, the hill towns uh, from uh, Burn, Knox, and Westerlo down to Rensselaerville, western portions of Green and Ulster County, a sizable portion of Schoharie County, pretty much along and south of uh, the I-88 uh, interstate, we'll see five to eight inches of snow. Southern Mohawk Valley, southern Saratoga County, up to about Saratoga Springs through Albany, connected Detroit, two to five inches of snow. And then north of Saratoga, a little strip of one to two inch snowfall from basically about Caroga Lake through Wells and Hamilton County, uh, up towards Lake Desolation in Saratoga County, uh, Moreau, Gansfort, as well as Glens Falls, Hudson Falls, and Fort Edward. And then once you get north of Glens Falls, the Lake George area, northern portions of uh, uh, Washington County around uh, Granville and Whitehall, uh, back towards uh, Speculator and Indian Lake, uh, coding to perhaps an inch of accumulation. 
is expected. Uh, here's the regional radar loop from Albany. Kind of an interesting little feature. We have like this uh, donut hole of no precipitation that has worked its way from north of Binghamton into the central parts of uh, the viewing area, the Mohawk Valley, Schoharie County, and uh, Saratoga County. But notice back to the west, we have quite a high bunch of returns uh, expected to uh, work their way off towards the northeast. And these should be moving into Albany and also into uh, the Catskills, especially Schoharie County, Green, and uh, Ulster County uh, within the next hour or so. And I'm making this tape now at about uh, a little bit past 8 o'clock Eastern Time this evening. All right, here's uh, what we have in terms of the uh, latest weather advisories. Uh, basically, we have a winter weather advisory up for a good chunk of eastern New York State and western New England, up through Saratoga County, the Mohawk Valley, uh, for mainly snow. Initially, a little bit of a wintry mix early tonight, but everyone should transition over to snow, and it's in this winter weather advisory. That's where we'll see the greatest accumulations of snow. Uh, taking a look at uh, the uh, latest observations, I have a few of the temperatures plotted up there. You can see that we are looking at uh, reading still pretty mild in the uh, Hudson Valley, pretty mild in terms of relative to the freezing mark. Uh, still 36 up at Burlington and Glens Falls and 37 at uh, Albany. 39 down at Poughkeepsie, but notice uh, Montgomery in uh, the southwestern Catskills, as well as some of the other observations uh, through the Catskills and the higher terrain of western New England are very close to the freezing mark, 33, 32, even a little bit below, down around 31 degrees. As a matter of fact, I do have a uh, plot of the mesonet observations and you can see that we do have for example at Dwaynesburg it's already down to uh, 31 degrees there a little farther to the west at uh, Worc Worcester, Wor Worcester uh, to the north and northwest of Cobleskill we have a, a temperature of 33 degrees and as we go towards Palatine in the uh, Mohawk Valley um, we're looking at 34 degrees and up in the uh, Sacandaga Reservoir area we're looking at uh, a temperature of 34 degrees at Broad Almond and uh, Northville also at 34 degrees. Gansford, Glens Falls area all very close to 36 degrees. Uh, with the storm system uh, moving rather quickly the uh, snowfall should be pretty much over and done with uh, by 7 o'clock most areas tomorrow morning. Could see some afternoon snow showers uh, to the west of the Hudson Valley tomorrow, but those shouldn't really amount to too much. Matter of fact, there'll be lake effect snow showers, but the lake effect activity should be rapidly diminishing and weakening and breaking up as the day wears on. Tomorrow afternoon, dry and sunny, but cold with a gusty west-northwest wind. And then on Sunday, we'll start off with some sunshine. And then as the day wears on, we'll start to see the clouds coming in. And uh, Sunday night into Monday morning, looks like we get to do this all over again. Another period of uh, wintry weather heading our way. It looks like a, a decent area of uh, widespread snowfall Sunday night into Monday morning with some potential impacts for everyone for that morning commute back to work and school. And then during the day Monday, we'll probably change over to rain. But uh, again, basically for tonight, what we are looking at is... Uh, Mostly snow, especially by 10, 11 o'clock tonight throughout the viewing area, continuing up until about 4, 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. That's when most of the steadiest snow will be. And then by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, most of the snowfall is going to be pretty much over and done with. And once again, by that time, this is what we are looking at in terms of uh, snowfall. Uh, basically, far northern areas, north of Glens Falls, Lake George, coating to one inch around the Glens Falls, Saratoga Springs area, one to two inches, back through the extreme northern Mohawk Valley. Most of the bulk of our viewing area will be looking at a two to five inch snowfall. This includes the Capital District, Schenectady, Albany, Troy, and the western portions of Schenectady County, the hill towns of Albany County, Western Green, Ulster County, much of uh, Schoharie County will be looking at snowfall amounts of uh, two to fi uh, five to eight inches. The higher terrain will be looking at snowfall amounts of five to eight inches. So that pretty much wraps up this uh, weather update for you. I hope it helps. Uh, if there are any more updates to be made, I'll 
put together another little video. And, of course, you can catch all the latest updates tonight on News 10 on Fox 23 at 10 o'clock. And, of course, News 10 on Channel 10 at 11 o'clock. Have a great night. And if you're driving late tonight, please do be careful. Drive safe.